Hello, I'm Robert Carell, author of High Dynamic Range Digital Photography for Dummies. A high dynamic range or HDR photo is an image that does a pretty good job of capturing the full range of light and color available in a scene. You see, today's modern digital cameras have trouble sensing dark darks and bright brights at the same time. They don't have enough dynamic range to fit it all in. The HDR process does a better job of capturing more data with stunning effect. Here are the basic steps you'll need to follow to create an HDR image. First, try to take a great set of photos. Don't be content with average photos, expecting HDR to make them better. Take good, or even better yet, great photos. Most of the time, you'll set your camera up on a tripod at location and take a series of exposure bracketed photos. Bracketing means you take more than one picture of the same thing without moving the camera. The trick is, each photo has a different exposure. Here's an example of bracketed photos. You can see from these three brackets that each one preserves an important part of the overall dynamic range of the scene. Although the under and overexposed photos aren't pretty to look at on their own, the HDR application uses the information from all the brackets to sense what each part of the scene actually looks like. For the next step, you'll process the photos you took in your camera's RAW format and convert them to TIFF format. Typically, you can handle this step with software provided by your camera's manufacturer, a standalone RAW editor, or with Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements and the Adobe Camera RAW plugin. Next, you'll generate an HDR image in HDR software. There are a number of applications that exist solely to convert your odd-looking, over- and underexposed photos into an HDR image. I use Photomatix Pro, as well as Adobe Photoshop and Photoshop Elements in high dynamic range digital photography for dummies. Once you've generated your HDR image, you're ready to tone map it. The thing is, until everybody is using HDR monitors and printers, you have to convert the HDR image into a low dynamic range space, and by that I mean a TIFF or JPEG that everyone's monitor or printer won't choke on. This is the step where your photographer's judgment and artistry come into play. The great thing about tone mapping is that you have a tremendous amount of control over how the image looks, from brightness, contrast, smoothness, drama, to color. After you tone map your HDR image, process the results just like you would a normal photo. You might have to straighten it, sharpen it, reduce the noise, crop it, or even convert it to black and white. You'll use your favorite photo editing software for this step. Your final result is a beautiful high dynamic range shot worthy of printing or putting online to share with the world. Hey, I skimmed through the process of creating an HDR image pretty fast in this video. If you want a more in-depth, go at your own pace solution to help you learn how to shoot and process HDR, grab a copy of my book, High Dynamic Range Digital Photography for Dummies.